Just 24 hours removed from the biggest party of the summer tonight on Monday Night Raw. Some bad blood looking to be settled from the black heart of WWE, Tommaso Ciampa, and the street champ, Solo Sokoa, tonight here on Raw. And we want to take you back to last night in Levi Stadium. Matt Riddle successful in his pursuit of retaining the WWE Championship in that main event fatal four-way. But as you can see on your screen, he was met with another challenge. Mr. Money in the Bank, Seth freaking Rollins, cashing in the briefcase on a wounded champion. And after that super stomp and a fight for Matt Riddle, Seth Rollins overcame the champion and walked away the new WWE Champion and face of Monday Night Raw. A shocking ending to the biggest party of the summer 24 hours ago in San Francisco. But all of that leads us to the main event tonight where Seth Rollins has been challenged by the original bro Matt Riddle for his championship rematch. And it will happen tonight in the SAP Center in San Jose, California. It's Matt Riddle versus Seth freaking Rollins for the WWE Championship. SummerSlam was full of shocking moments, but possibly none bigger than the return, the reemergence of the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt, who accepted the open challenge from the A-list superstar The Miz and made a emphatic statement inside of the squared circle 24 hours ago. The man who once stood toe to toe with some of the best in this business, from John Cena to Randy Orton to The Undertaker, still has a hold of a lot le left in the tank. And the former WWE Champion, former Tag Team Champion, one of the most sinister, mysterious, and downright intimidating superstars to ever grace a WWE ring is back on Monday Night Raw. And it is Elias who drew the unlucky straw of standing across the ring from that man, the White Rabbit, Bray Wyatt. For the last five weeks, Bray Wyatt left clues in the shadows. Well, last night, he reemerged from those shadows back into the limelight of World Wrestling Entertainment and now once again finds himself walking down the aisle for in-ring competition. Bray Wyatt is a man on a mission. Without saying a word, his actions speak louder than any word could possibly do. Bray Wyatt is back, looking to wreak his havoc and wreak his hell on Monday Night Raw. We said it last night, but we will say it again. This is a man who has been at war with some of the best of them in this business but has also been at war with himself. But tonight, Bray Wyatt is back on the red brand and looking to start a whole new leash on his career. The Miz fell to the Eater of Worlds last night at SummerSlam. And the rock star and Elias tries his hand tonight as we kick things off for the SAP Center here in San Jose, California.
A bone chilly entrance as Bray Wyatt reemerges on Monday Night Raw. And we are set to kick things off on a night that'll feature a WWE Championship main event, plus Tommaso Ciampa and Sol Sokoa locking horns from what I understand. Up next, here on Raw, here we go! Bray Wyatt is back inside the red ropes. Elias, it's been a little bit since we've seen him in action here on Monday Night Raw. Let's see if he can outlast the Eater of Worlds tonight. But Bray Wyatt coming out hot, coming out swinging, and coming out a man on a mission. Bray Wyatt in due time will speak his truth. We will hear why Bray Wyatt has decided to reemerge here on the red brand. But nonetheless, as we said before, his actions speaking louder than words and Bray Wyatt making an example out of Elias right now. We want to thank you all for joining us last night at SummerSlam, an extremely successful live premiere event. If you missed out, no worries, the replay is available right now. Last night's epic SummerSlam, quite possibly, I truly believe, our biggest and best live premiere event to date. Gonna, wo gonna wanna go check out that replay available now on the Donation Gaming YouTube channel as Elias is starting to get back into this matchup. What an upset it would be tonight if Elias can knock off the returning Bray Wyatt here on Monday Night Raw, but I think Bray Wyatt has got other plans. Mandible Claw, look at him pass out Elias. And he may have done just that. Into the cover, Bray Wyatt picks up the victory here tonight. We'll talk about another statement made by the Eater of Worlds. Bray Wyatt going two for two, back to back nights at SummerSlam and on Raw. Here's your winner. Bray Wyatt continues to send a loud and clear message to the Monday Night Raw locker room that he has returned and that everybody standing in his path will be ran over by the Eater of Worlds. Elias is going to be feeling that one on Tuesday morning, but the story here tonight and the story of this weekend is one of the most shocking moments we could have ever imagined. Oh. The former WWE Champion, Bray Wyatt, is back on Monday Night Raw, and he's looking to out-seek some vengeance, out-seek some retribution, and remind everybody just who the hell he is. The next time we come your way for not one, but two live premiere events is 27 nights from tonight as we kick off a huge September doubleheader weekend. First, on Saturday, September 16th, we bring to you a Friday Night Smackdown exclusive event, No Mercy, live from the CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. And then just 24 hours later, the Monday Night Raw crew headlined the exclusive Unforgiven event taking place on September 17th from the All-State Arena in Chicago, Illinois. It's a September doubleheader, a live premiere weekend featuring the Cruiserweight Classic, SmackDown's No Mercy in Baltimore, and Raw's Unforgiven in Chicago. Once again, we are live tonight in the SAP Center, San Jose, California, jam-packed for the Raw after SummerSlam, and a big fight coming up next. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa! We want to take you back to two weeks ago here on Raw. Solo Sokoa ambushing Tommaso Ciampa earlier in the evening, which took Tommaso Ciampa out of a main event where he was supposed to participate alongside Shinsuke Nakamura in a big tag team matchup against Solo Sokoa and now WWE Champion Seth Freakin' Rollins. Of course, the issues between Solo and Ciampa starting well over a month ago here on Raw, when Tommaso Ciampa defeated Solo Sokoa in a Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Solo has not forgotten. He has ambushed Ciampa on more than one occasion, and tonight Ciampa's seeking some retribution after sending, got, getting sent off that ledge two weeks ago here on the Red Brand. 
Tommaso Ciampa, what condition will he be in though? That is the question, and we await the answer to him. And his opponent, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa! Tommaso Ciampa looks fired up. You ever one of the other ambushes by Sol Sokoa happening a number of weeks ago as well. Ciampa victorious here on Raw over Madcap Maul. Sol Sokoa hitting the ring, ambushing Ciampa with that kendo stick. Tommaso Ciampa has not forgotten about one nor the other and looking to exact some retribution tonight against the street champ of Monday Night Raw. A rematch more than a month in the making between Ciampa and Solo. The bell has sounded and here we go and Ciampa coming out swinging tonight. Couple of lefts thrown and that discus lariat takes Solo off his feet. You knew Ciampa was gonna come into this match fired up. Look at exact some retribution as we mentioned on Sol Sokoa, the man who took him out, or at least tried to, two weeks ago here on Raw. Champa all over the street champ, taking him out with multiple lariats, now the neck breaker, now the boots to the chest. Champa wants to show Sol Sokoa a measure of the pain that he felt falling off that ledge through that spotlight, surrounded by glass and electricity two weeks ago. Now Champ on the top. Now Sol Sokoa getting out of harm's way, but Champ is still gonna meet him inside the squared circle. Tommaso Champ, I'm sure, has been thinking about this matchup for the last two weeks. And once it got announced last week on Raw, Champ had to been salivating at his fingertips. Now Solo on the outside. Here comes Champ going for the crossbody, but nobody home. Champa's got to be sure he doesn't become overzealous in this matchup. So fired up, so blinded by his rage that he accidentally makes a mistake that Sol Sokoa can capitalize on. I'm sure Sol Sokoa itching for this matchup tonight as well. Obviously, he is the one who has really escalated this whole situation. And again, all started with Tommaso Champa took out Solo in that Money in the Bank qualifying matchup. Sol Sokoa even took issue with Champa for not winning the money in the bank. Said if you were at least going to knock me out, you could have at least won the matchup. Solo wants to make a statement tonight on Tommaso Champa's behalf. Show he is the better man and show that Tommaso Champa only earned a fluke victory a number of weeks ago here in the red brand. Either way, you spin it. Bad blood between these two men, and only one man can leave San Jose tonight with their hand raised high. Will that be Sol Sokoa, or will that be Tommaso Ciampa? It's countered by the Blackheart. Couple of strikes in the knee. Gotta wonder if Tommaso Ciampa has watched back the matchup against Sol Sokoa, and vice versa. Has Solo watched back the match against Ciampa, the Money in the Bank qualifier? Trying to find a loophole in the arsenal of Tommaso that he can take advantage of. And I'm sure for Ciampa, he's approaching this matchup in a much more aggressive manner this time around. And speaking of such, DDT on the apron to the street champ. Well, those Samoans known to have the hardest heads in the wrestling business. That's one way to take out the Chrome Dome of Tommaso, or excuse me, of Sol Sokoa as Tommaso Ciampa runs off the apron with that knee. Champa did his homework on the street champ tonight. And Tommaso, as we mentioned, a little bit more aggressive, a little bit more fired up tonight compared to that Money in the Bank qualifier all those weeks ago. Tonight is personal between him and Tommaso, or between him and Solo Sokoa. Solo tried to injure him two weeks ago on Raw, tried to make an example out of the black heart. Champa not one to have it. Maso coming off the top, but Sol Sokoa looking to take advantage. Sola's best strategy in this matchup might be to try to slow the pace down as Tommaso has really been revving up the engine since the opening bell. Oh, but Tommaso Ciampa delivering the knee right into the solar plexus of the street champ. Oh, wait a minute. Tommaso, Project Champa on Solo Sokoa, and that's gonna do it. Champa with the victory, not just yet. Champa looking to go two for two against the street champ Solo Sokoa, but Sokoa's been waiting for this matchup for weeks, not looking to come out empty-handed tonight. 
Especially after you remember what happened two weeks ago. Solo took Champ out of that tag team main event. Shinsuke Nakamura needed to find a new tag team partner, which ended up being the returning Celtic warrior Sheamus, who pinned Solo Sokoa in that tag team matchup. Solo sending Champ into the barricade. And I think after that project, Champa Solo may be a little bit more fired up as well to eliminate Tommaso Ciampa from in-ring competition here on Monday nights. As the road to Unforgiven, the Raw exclusive pay-per-view begins here tonight. Every man looking to pick up some momentum, pick up the victory, heading into what will be a huge show September the 17th in Chicago. Well, both men going for strikes, both men meet in air. But Champa looking to take advantage. Knocking Solo off his feet. Solo with the counter. And Solo. Couple of uppercuts here. Down goes Champa. Solo starting to kick things into a new gear. That project Champa woke him up. It was a shot of adrenaline. And Solo Sokoa now with the Samoan drop. Tommaso Champa. The rib cage might be banging for mercy, but Champa once more. A kick out by the Blackheart. Tommaso Ciampa able to survive. You gotta believe that hurt more than usual. Cause I'm sure Tommaso is not coming to this matchup 100% tonight after that spotlight he went through two weeks ago. And Solo off the top, dropping the elbow into the cover. Will that do it? Tommaso survives again. Business is picking up here on Monday Night Raw. Bad blood between these two men reaching a new height tonight. Who wants it more? Who wants their hand raised high here in San Jose? Nobody home off the splash in the corner. And Champa makes Solo pay for it. Champa not able to take advantage. And Solo Sokoa with another Samoa drop. The street champ going back to his favorite maneuvers tonight, if you will, to try to eliminate Tommaso Champa. His most brutalizing maneuvers in his arsenal. Champa down, Champa out, has Tommaso Champa expended himself in this matchup as Solo delivers the headbutt with emphatic force. Tommaso started this matchup coming out of Blades of Glory. He was all over Solo Sokoa. With the possibility of him coming in tonight, not 100% as he expended himself. Is the fuel tank running on E for Tommaso Champa? And if so, Solo Sokoa is going to be looking to pick the bones of the Blackheart. And another headbutt. I think what we are seeing right now is Solo Sokoa trying to exact that revenge as Tommaso still trying to fight. But the street champ having none of it. Into the ropes. And a backdrop sends Tommaso on a ride. Solo Sokoa has been itching for this matchup for a number of weeks here on Monday Night Raw. And tonight, we're going to take the fullest advantage. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. Solo off the middle buckle. What a headbutt right to the rib cage of Tommaso Ciampa. And Solo not done. Samoa and Spike. Tommaso Ciampa is down. Tommaso Ciampa is out. But Solo Sokoa once more. Uranagi into the cover. But Tommaso Ciampa survives. How the hell is the Blackheart still into this? Solo can't believe it. The headbutt, the spike, spinning Solo, but somehow Champa still survives in this match. Champa on the apron, nobody home. Solo coming flying in a blade to glory, but he meets the floor at ringside, and Tommaso Champa with his fuel tank still evidently not hitting exactly E just yet is continuing to fight. We have got ourselves a matchup here on Mother Night Raw. The bad blood brewing over in this matchup. Blood pressure at an all-time high between Solo Sokoa and Tommaso Ciampa. Oh, what a mean shot to the rib cage. Ciampa's taking a lot of shots to that possibly injured rib cage throughout this matchup. And Solo Sokoa sending the black card in the ring. And now on the top, looking for that Samoan splash. Will that do it? Yes, it will. After everything Solo threw at Champa, the splash finally puts the Blackheart away. 
Well, that was one hell of a matchup. Credit where credit's due to Tommaso Ciampa. He gave Solo all he had, but not coming into this match 100% tonight. Absolutely aided in what we just witnessed. The street champ making a statement and getting that win he's been itching for for weeks here on Raw. Here is your winner, Solo Sikoa. Well, the question is, is Tommaso Ciampa going to take that loss lying down? Are the issues settled between Solo and the Blackheart? Or are they just getting started here on Monday Night Raw? The next time we come your way for not one, but two live premiere events is 27 nights from tonight as we kick off a huge September doubleheader weekend. First, on Saturday, September 16th, we bring to you a Friday Night Smackdown exclusive event, No Mercy, live from the CFG Bank Arena in Baltimore, Maryland. And then just 24 hours later, the Monday Night Raw crew headlines the exclusive Unforgiven event taking place on September 17th from the All-State Arena in Chicago, Illinois. It's a September doubleheader, a live premiere weekend featuring the Cruiserweight Classic, SmackDown's No Mercy in Baltimore, and Raw's Unforgiven in Chicago. We're back live on Monday Night Raw from the SAP Center in San Jose, California. And I believe the calendar says, it is fight night. The Celtic Warrior, Butch Ridge Holland, the Burling Brutes in tow. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus at a combined weight of 458 pounds. Ridge Holland and Butch, the brawling Bruce. Well, Sheamus resurfaced after spending the majority of the summer on the shelf two weeks ago. And I'm sure the Celtic Warriors feel in some type of way that his arch nemesis, Seth freaking Rollins, left SummerSlam with the WWE title last night. That's a whole nother situation, but tonight we focus in on the Brawling Brutes, Butch and Ridge Holland, who are set for a big time tag team matchup with two men looking to build momentum towards their upcoming clashes in the Cruiserweight Classic, which kicked off this past Saturday afternoon. And their opponents, first from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler well, the Cruiserweight Classic continues week two of the tournament this Saturday at 3 p.m. Eastern time live. And you can witness these two first round matches as Wesley battles Nathan Frazier, a SmackDown superstar and NXT superstar clashing in the first round. Whole lot of writing on that contest. Another first round matchup coming your way this Saturday afternoon. One half of Los Lotharios, Angel Garza battles Mustafa Ali. The Cruiserweight Classic Tournament continues at 3 p.m. Eastern time as we unveil who the first round, or I should say who's gonna be making it out of the first round over these next several weeks. But the big strong boy, Tyler Bate, along with the invincible Ilya Dragunov, two Monday Night Raw participants in the Cruiserweight Classic. Tyler Bate will have his hands full with SmackDown's Drew Gulak in a number of weeks, and Ilya Dragunov set to battle Axiom in the first round coming up soon as well. But tonight, Bait and Dragoff looking to build momentum towards the Cruiserweight Classic against the Brawling Brutes, Butch and Ridge Holland. These four international stars set to lock horns in what should be a fight for the sake of a fight. Who's going to come out the better team, the better man? I got a feeling this is going to be a good one on the Monday Night Raw after SummerSlam. Let's get it going. Well, I'm sure Ilya Dragunov is very much anticipating the Cruiserweight Classic. Unfortunately, the month of July, not really what Ilya Dragunov panned out for it to be. Lost his Intercontinental Championship back at Money in the Bank and unfortunately lost the rematch as well. 
the man who also retained his title last night of SummerSlam, that being the Defiant LA Knight. Ilya Dragunov in this tag team matchup tonight with one focus in mind, and that is to build that momentum that we were discussing. Dragunov looking to be making his way through the 16-man Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Ilya Dragunov with history with almost everybody in this matchup during his Intercontinental Championship reign successfully defended that title over Tyler Bate, his tag team partner tonight, and Ilya Dragunov's final successful defense in said Intercontinental Championship run was against the Bruiserweight Butch. A lot of history between those two men. They fought at WrestleMania earlier this year. But tonight is about one thing, momentum for Dragunov and Bate. It's about building momentum towards the Cruiserweight Classic for the Brawling Brutes. I'm sure those two men would love an opportunity at the WWE World Tag Team titles. Their road could start right here tonight in San Jose. Let's kick things off with the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. And that bruiser, Rich Holland, or should we say Ridge the Fridge. It's one of those matches where you just send him to the ring and you let him fight, no pun intended, with the brawling brutes in tow. As we were discussing, the Celtic warrior Sheamus made his return two weeks ago here in the Red Brand. Last week, a successful win over Apollo Crews. Let Sin City roll. You gotta wonder how Sheamus is feeling with the whole current situation regarding Seth Rollins and the WWE Championship. Sheamus has been itching to really put Seth Rollins behind him once and for all, but now with the WWE title involved, Sheamus could be looking for an opportunity at the WWE Championship. We'll see if Seth Rollins makes it out of San Jose tonight, still holding the gold. Matt Riddle exacting his rematch clause, wants to fight Rollins one-on-one -on -one tonight, which will be your main event coming up in moments. But right now, Tyler Bate and Butch, two men with no shortage of history, two of the greatest matches in NXT history belong to these men. It's Tyler Bate with a German over Butch. Remember back in June, these two men met in Hammerstein Ballroom at WWE Live for a shot at Ilya Dragunov's Intercontinental title. It's where Butch picked up the victory on that night. From recent history between the big strong boy and the Bruiserweight as well. As Dragunov comes in, but he gets met with that big time bicycle kick by Butch. And a tag made to ridge the fridge. And this should be good. Drag it off. And Holland, one of the hardest hitters, one of the strongest competitors. Two men clashing horns here on Monday Night Raw. And a tag made to Tyler Bate. Bate and Drag it off. No previous work as a team, but looking like a well oiled machine so far here in San Jose, California. And again, ladies and gentlemen, we want to thank you for joining us all throughout last week. It was an epic week of live premieres. Starting with Monday Night Raw in Las Vegas, then we moved over to Sacramento for SmackDown. Of course, the Cruiserweight Classic kicking off in Hammerstein Ballroom Saturday afternoon, and then last night's SummerSlam. You people certainly turned out in droves for what was an amazing SummerSlam last night. We want to send our thank yous again. If you did not catch any of the live premieres last week, especially SummerSlam last night, well, don't be alarmed. The replay's available right here, right now, on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. You can check them out after Monday Night Raw. Nonetheless, Ilya Dragunov back inside the ring with Ridge the Fridge. And Dragunov showcasing why he is one of the hardest hitters in not just Monday Night Raw, but in all of WWE. And that's what Axiom has got to be aware of when they those two men meet in the first rounds of the Cruiserweight Classic. Ilya Dragunov in tow. Ridge Holland, big time gut wrench there. Ridge the Fridge showcasing his strength and showcasing his agility in the lead up. Ridge Holland and Butch, two men who have still a new team, if you will, here on Monday Night Raw. The Brawling Brutes coming together back in April here on the Red Brand. And a real common enemy, in a sense, and Seth Rollins in the Judgment Day. And Remember that big six-man tag back at Vengeance in May, which the Brawling Brutes won over those three men. And I'm sure Butch and Ridge Holland, with unfinished business really, looking back against Damian Priest and Finn Balor, would love to get their hands on the Judgment Day, who retained their World Tag Team titles last night at SummerSlam. My goodness! What an avalanche! DDT by the Bruiserweight to the big strong boy, but it may have cost him as Dragunov has a hold of Butch. And drag off with the Inseguri. Butch tried to avoid, but there's no running from the Invincible. And a big time Sayo for good measures. 
This matchup, great contest so far between these four highly motivated individuals. Really drag it off with Butch in the corner. You can tell it's been an epic week. The voice is starting to go. Especially after last night's SummerSlam. Looks nice to reversal there on Dragunov. Two men who have had some epic battles throughout this year. First at WrestleMania, then on Monday Night Raw back in June. Now Dragunov. Nice senton on the Bruiserweight. And Dragunov, big time Lariat. A signature out of the arsenal. Will that do it? Into the cover. Oh, but Ridge Holland going to allow... I should say not allow Ilya Dragunov to get the victory for his team tonight. It was a close call there for the brawling brutes. Ilya Dragunov with that big time lariat that we've seen him utilize during his Intercontinental Championship reign to the absolute most success. May not have worked out for the three count, but Dragunov going to keep the foot on the gas pedal and Butch is feeling the worst of it right now. And a much needed tag. To Ridge Holland, let's see if Ridge the Fridge can turn things around for the Brawling Brutes here on Monday Night Raw. Dragunov is all kinds of fired up right now. The Invincible One has got the number of the Brawling Brutes at least for the moment. An epic tag team collision that I don't think anybody expected here on Monday Night Raw. And after a possible tag team match of the year last night between the Judgment Day and the OC, what better way to follow it up here on Monday Night? Oh, Ridge Holland played a little bit of a cat and mouse game with Dragunov. And he outsmarted him. And now showcasing some of the teachings of his mentor, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus. Ten beats and down goes Dragunov. That's certainly a way to change the tides of this matchup. Just start throwing haymakers. But not enough as Dragunov gets the upper hand. Oh, wait a minute, Ridge. What a maneuver! And then Ilya drag it off for an amusement park ride into the cover, but Tyler Bay breaks it up at two. My goodness, the strength on full display by Ridge the Fridge, sending Ilya drag it off up, over, and down to the canvas. But drag it off that smarts in there. Man, some great in ring competition 24 hours after the biggest party of the summer. A tag made to Butch, a tag made to Tyler Bay. Bait gets the upper hand, at least for now. Man, Tyler Bay, Ilya Dragunov working like a well-oiled machine. I know they've got the Cruiserweight Classic in mind, but they may be a full-time team heading forward if they can get the victory tonight. Tyler Bay with the submission hold. He defeated Sami Zayn a few months ago here on Raw with that very hold, but Butch has it scouted. And the Bruiserweight coming from behind. Oh, backstabber, which is going to hurt even worse with those bare knees. And Butch, Butch. Down goes Tyler Bay. And only a two. My goodness. Awesome contest here tonight. Between four highly respected competitors by the WWE Universe. These four incredible athletes. Oh, Butch taking Dragon off out of the picture, at least for now. Rolling Brutes not afraid to get their hands dirty, especially the Bruiser Ray, if need be. And Tyler Bay. I oh, just get a little rug burn on the forehead. You can't see, you can't fight. And Butch, who knows Tyler Bates so well, starting to pick him apart. Tyler Bates with the kick up, however. Oh, the big strong boy. I don't know if he saw the tag uppercut to Butch, but Ridge Holland is now the legal man. And obviously, Ridge with the strength advantage over Tyler Bates. He may be a big strong boy, but I don't know how you measure up to Ridge the Fridge. There's some big strength, but the big strong boy with a counter and a neck breaker. Tyler Bates got Drew Gulak in the first round of the Cruiserweight Classic in a few weeks. Ilya Dragunov will beat Axiom in the first round of the said tournament. But Bate and Dragunov with a win here tonight could very well put themselves in line for a future World Tag Team title opportunity. All remains to be seen, but Tyler Bates just got his head set into the fifth row by Rich Holland. Bait is out, and Ridge going to make the tag to the Bruiser 8 Butch. The Brawling Brutes at least trying to stay a little bit fresher in this match. That's what the Brawling Brutes are all about. They love a good fight. 
not backing down from dragging off and bait tonight. Oh, but Tyler Bate taking advantage of a man who took his eye off the ball. Almost got him there. But Butch gets the break, break up. I think things are starting to break down off screen between Ilya Dragunov and Rich Holland. And Tyler Bate gonna feel the brunt of it right now. Oh, there's a counter. Double boots to the face of Boots. This is what the bruiserweight's all about. Stupid a slam into the ropes, my God. Tyler Bate has gotta be feeling worse. Whatever in this matchup, if you will, but there's a big time reversal. Never count out the big strong boy, former NXT United Kingdom champion, but so is the Bruiserweight, who is showcasing why they call him such Bruiserweight here tonight. Tyler Bate down, Tyler Bate out. And Butch, off the forearm, could be going for that pump handle to a bitter end. Oh, but Ilya Dragunov still stirring. Ridge didn't get the job done over the Invincible one, but now he might have. I think Dragunov just got sent up and over the top rope, and Butch realizes he needs to put one more nail in this coffin for it to stay shut. Cover. A big time victory after an awesome collision for the Brawling Brutes. Well, Tyler Bay and Ilya Dragunov came to the dance tonight. And even though they didn't build that momentum that they were looking for towards the Cruiserweight Classic, nothing to be ashamed of in defeat. But look at the victors, Butch and Ridge Holland. Could they be next in line for a championship opportunity against the Judgment Day? Here are your winners, Butch and Ridge Holland of Brawling Brutes. Well, those three men have certainly got a lot to be happy about. Over, the, over these last few weeks here on Monday Night Raw. Butch, Ridge, Holland, Sheamus. Momentum is on their side. What's next for the Brawling Brutes here on the Red Brand? time here in San Jose, California. And here comes the brand new WWE Champion cashing in Money in the Bank successfully in the same place he did all those years ago, Levi Stadium last night and walking away with his hand raised high. Seth Rollins ending the WWE Championship reign of Matt Riddle that started back on February 26 and expired on Sunday night, August the 20th. An amazing reign for the original bro, but at the end of the day, Rollins played by the rules of the briefcase, cashed in when, when excuse me, the champion was in an opportune state. That's what the money in the bank is all about. Seth Rollins, no stranger to that title, most recently held the World Heavyweight Championship dating back to February, but ever since being drafted to Raw, he's been on the hunt for the main event prize. Let's take a look once again at what happened 24 hours ago, Riddle retaining his WWE title in the fatal four-way matchup against Bobby Lashley, Karrion Cross, and John Cena. At odds with those men all summer, but it was Seth Rollins who got the last laugh in Levi Stadium, the super stomp and the super victory for the visionary. But here comes the now former 
WWE Champion. And I don't know what condition Matt Riddle is in. It's been one hell of a week for the original bro. But if there's one thing we know about Riddle, he's going to keep fighting to an absolute bitter end. Itching to get back the championship he lost 24 hours ago, invoking his rematch clause, no waste in motion, here tonight in the SAP Center. It's... What the hell? It... Brock Lesnar! Brock Lesnar! He just... Lesnar's here, Lesnar's in gear, and Lesnar just ambushed the original bro, Matt Riddle! Well, we're supposed to have a WWE title match, but Brock Lesnar has got steel steps in hand, and he has ambushed Matt Riddle. What the hell is going on? Riddle trying to avoid this, this ambush by the Beast Incarnate. Brock Lesnar, who just defeated Kevin Owens at No Holds Board 24 hours ago, is now ambushing the former WWE Champion. What the hell is this all about? Lesnar with the steps and he just used them against the Stallion himself. We need to gain some control out here, but who the hell wants to get in between the Beast Incarnate and Brock Lesnar? Seth, Roll Seth Rollins has fleed ringside. Rollins has left. Are we not gonna have this WWE Championship match tonight? Brock Lesnar, for one reason or another, is taking matters into his own hands, and he is absolutely punishing from pillar to post, Matt Riddle. We need an explanation for this, but first we need somebody to damn near stop this. Why, why Brock is he eliminating Matt Riddle from competition right now? Matt Riddle, we already speculated what his condition was gonna be, but right now, Brock Lesnar is making sure Matt Riddle isn't gonna be competing for the WWE title tonight. Oh no, come on, come on now! What the hell are you doing, Brock? The F5 to Matt Riddle! Brock Lesnar has come unleashed for one reason or another. The Beast is here to destroy, conquer, and eradicate Matt Riddle. Face on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise, you can hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.